Let's consider rounding numbers to the nearest hundred. This will consider numbers between 0 and 100, 100 to 200, 200 to 300, and continues to infinite numbers. We are going to round these numbers to the nearest hundred. Let's consider one to six. And we're going to round this to the nearest hundred. Hence, we're going to have zero, zero, one. The number one will be modified or it will stay the same. But two is not up to five. Hence, this one remains the same and the 2 and the 6 become 0. That is, 1 to 6 is closer to 100 than to 200 and in between is 150 and 1 to 6 is somewhere here. The nearest 100 of 1 to 6 is 100 and for the nearest 10, we are going to have 0, 1, which is 10, which falls on 2. Hence, 2 will either be modified or stays the same. But 6 is up to 5. 1 will remain the same. And the 2 will become 3. The 6 is now 0. Hence, for the nearest 10 of 1 to 6 is 130. Halfway between 120 and 130 is 125. And 126 is somewhere here, which is closer to 130. Next, consider 248. 248 to the nearest 100 is zero zero one we are not concerned about this zero and this zero which is four and eight we are going to consider first if these two will be modified or if it's going to stay the same four is not up to five hence two will not be modified the four and the 8 become zeros because halfway between 200 and 300 is 250 and 248 is somewhere here which is closer to 200 for the nearest 10 which is 01 here we are concerned now about 4 and we're going to see if 4 Will be modified or it will stay the same however 2 is free because this 2 is not affected by the modification 8 can modify 4 which will become 5 and the 8 is now 0 because halfway between 240 and 250 is 245 and 248 is somewhere here which is closer to 250 than 240 next let's consider 368 to the nearest 100 which is 001 3 will be modified or it will stay the same 6 can modify 3 to become 4 and 6 and 8 becomes 0, 0 because 300 and 400 at the ends of 368 368 is more than 350 which is closer to 400 than to 300 
and to round this to the nearest 10 which is 0 1 6 will be modified or it will stay the same but 8 can modify 6 to become 7 and we're going to have 370 and this 8 we acquire this 0 because 365 is midway between 360 and 370 and 368 is somewhere here which is closer to 370 than to 360 next let's consider 255 to the nearest hundred we're going to have 0, 0, 1. hence 2 will either be modified or it will stay the same however 5 can modify 2 to become 3 hence we're going to write 3 however this 5 and this 5 will now acquire these zeros 255 is closer to 300 than to 200 250 is halfway between 200 and 300 for the nearest 10 which is 0 1 5 will be modified 5 can modify 5 to become 6 and 2 will remain unchanged and this position will become 0 255 is halfway between 250 and 260 hence we are going to round up to 260 now that you understand how it works complete the table complete the table round to the nearest hundred for nine five five two to the nearest hundred is going to be zero zero one i'm going to be modifying five hence nine is free five can modify this five to become six and these two five and two we acquire zeros this is our answer and for four five seven seven to the nearest hundred will become zero zero one hence five is going to be modified or is going to stay the same four is free seven can modify five and it's going to become six this seven and this seven we acquire zeros and this is our answer and for one eight two five to the nearest hundred eight will either be modified or stay the same however two cannot modify eight the two and the five we acquire zeros use this approach and complete the table in the next video we are going to learn how to work with decimal places significant figures and standard form To locate all the videos, follow the link on the screen. I will see you in the next video lesson.